live from Austin, where I think I shall never see a poem lovely as a tree. And it's going to be a great night. Now, put your virtual hands together, because here are your hosts, Bonnie Brushwood and Justin Robert Young! Hello, ladies and gentlemen, welcome. Welcome to the show, Bonnie Brushwood. Hi! Let's get her up the applause for Bonnie. Hello! I've been meaning to ask you this. Oh my goodness, yes. Where the fuck is Brian? Brian? <laughs> Brian? Brian's yeah. out having fun. He is. He and my daughter, Penny, are out in California with your buddy, Andrew. Yeah. And he's just having a great time. They went to go see a forest. They went to a museum and saw dinosaur bones. And they just went to an aquarium. They saw, like, some really cool, like, floaty things. And so yeah. <laughs> I think they're called fish. Fish. <laughs> But jellyfish, jellyfish float. It sounds kind of sad if you call like a fish, fish float. floating. You know. <laughs> yeah, uh, can I ask you a question? You got you got three daughters. Uh, I do. Are any of them into or have they seen the new Little Mermaid movie? We have not. I, like our family is kind of like against look, watching remixes. I mean, like the 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 live action. The live actions of the classics. Right. I don't. Did they don't... watch the cartoon when they were little, or or? Yeah, yeah, yeah everybody. They were yeah. into that. Yeah, yeah. It's just, I mean, for all of them. So it's not like this one or any of. We we did go see Aladdin. Like the first, I think Aladdin was the first one they did with the live action. I think Jungle Book technically, but uh, oh, uh, uh, yeah. maybe uh, you know. But yes, Aladdin was earlier than than uh, some of the other ones. Yeah. Right, right. And so we went and saw Aladdin. Um, it was fine, but like I don't know, the kids like the animation. Because this is a point that I made on the bones, Bryce. Did you hear that my my thought on the Little Mermaid trailer was indeed correct? Uh, uh what was, what was not your... gay enough? Uh. <laughs> they, it's they, Disney, so. they 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 degayed. They're making the things that aren't gay gay. They're degaying the things that should be gay. Oh, so you're saying like Ursula is less of the drag queen archetype? Well, number one, not a drag queen. Mm -hmm. It's going to be a live person. Maybe, I don't know, if there's one thing that you should put a drag queen in there for, it should be the character based on a drag queen. You don't think it's, Melissa McCarthy's going to do good in that spot? I don't know. I think she, she'll do fine. I'm not here to uh, shit on Melissa McCarthy. I'm just saying that, like, yeah. like in, in all the trailer, it was all the, like, you know, part of your world in minor key and, and like, like, oh, like, I desperately want to be part of the land. And it's like, no, it's a crazy story about magic and, and mermaids and people singing songs and a Jamaican crab. Like that I crab got, was so Jamaican, man. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's the like, whole point. Do they take the crab out? I think the crab's still in there. Oh my god! I goodness. think Sebastian is still in there, but they don't make him look. They make him look real. No one wants to see a. If you that, saw a who, real who you, crab talking all Jamaican, flounder. flounder looks like a nightmare. Oh, have you seen flounder? No. Bring up flounder. We got to show you flounder. This is terrifying. Actually, I would not. It want looks a crab. like flounder is on heroin. Oh my god, <laughs> he's strung out. He has sunken cheeks. It, oh like, my god. Like 90s heroin cheeks. I don't I don't like looking at this. I'm sorry. Put it on screen here. Oh my god. That's Aww. I, I, the guy whoever this person is is fine, but the design for Flounder, it's bad. This looks this isn't this is nothing. This is a fish with stripes. This yeah, is this, a boring fish. This fish does not look healthy, actually. He no, does look like especially because the original founder was 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 plump. Yeah. yeah, like it was, it was a, it was a round kind of rubby, rubber ducky like style uh, uh, shape. This is just, it's thin, weird. Look at that! Uh, this, this is the this this is, iconic. This flounder. is my flounder. That's my flounder. <laughs> Annalisa, you're yeah. not on a microphone. <laughs> I love you, but you're not on a microphone. Annalisa <laughs> is swept up so much by the flounder discourse <laughs> that she is just yelling off mic. <laughs> it's true. Oh, uh, well, I agree. It, you know, give me little talking creatures that look like bathtub toys. Yeah. Like Annalisa said, but Every not, not, you know, not something that looks like it needs like one of those vending machines in downtown Austin. Yes. Yeah. Right. Enough. <laughs> Enough. Hey, Bryce, what's our first time? I'm <laughs> 
computer uncropped. <laughs> hey, uh, Bryce, AI, huh? Have <laughs> you seen this? <laughs> Oh. Uh, uh, so they've got uh, they've got the AI stuff going on right now. Everyone's talking about it. Everyone loves it. Everyone agrees that they love it. <laughs> really? Um, and they just yeah, universal approval. <laughs> no, that's right. <laughs> universal approval for AI. And you want to know who loves it the most, Bryce? Ooh. Artists. <laughs> they yeah. love it. Well, and God, they love it so much. It. They're they're thrilled. Well, and you know, if if you looked at the works of Da Vinci ah. or the works of Picasso. Yeah. Uh, you, you Are would they go, on Mid Journey? Well, you would go like, okay, yeah, that's great. I mean, sure, you made a good, you made a good picture of a yeah. lady. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. what if you made more of it? Yeah. What that's if there was the biggest more? thing that people hate about art. It stops. It stops. So mm -hmm. constrictions and constraints don't need them. Don't need where them. we're going. We don't need the artist to define the boundaries of their own expression. <laughs> we will do that for them. Thank you very much. So uh, I've got a thread here from at Hey Cody on Twitter, Cody Young, uh, who is one of uh, a number of people who are uh, taking advantage of the new Photoshop. Photoshop's got its own art, uh, image generation thing called Firefly. Yeah. So you just make a selection. A AI is like fentanyl. It's in everything. <laughs> <laughs> and if you touch it, you're going to end the world. Jeez. Yeah. And uh, uh, so you can take you can take uh, you could just do all of that Dali stuff inside of Photoshop now. And so they took some pictures from famous uh, paintings and uh, uncropped them, made made them like look at this. Here's here's more of the Mona Lisa. Isn't holy that cool? shit? Oh my god! Oh my that god! All right, so this is just the the Mona Lisa, right? In in the frame that we have always seen it. But now, over her left shoulder, there's a castle. There's like a huge, uh, a billowing cloud above her, and 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 an inlet. So she is like on a ridge. That's fucking crazy. It looks, it I looks mean, good. Well, it's it a looks a little Tolkien. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Go to the castle. Well, I, and I'll say this. You know, I, I, I've actually done some. And I, I, this is not a joke or a comedy, but I have done a small amount of analysis on the Mona Lisa. And there's a lot of like, un, like we don't really know what that background is behind her in the proper painting. It just looks like mountains and Tolkien shit. I guess, yeah. Oh, so this is just really taken. And so now that you've actually zoomed in a little bit, it's not a castle. It's like a rock formation. But there are rock formations behind her, yeah. uh, in in the original thing. So so. That's, I mean, I don't know, Bonnie. I'm afraid because you're an artist, I'm that, an artist. that you're gonna that you're gonna punch me. But like, I don't know. I, I think that's cool. Is that is that am I am I allowed to think that's cool? <laughs> <laughs> well, Justin, what? you certainly are allowed to have your own thoughts and feelings, even when I'm in the room. I mean, <laughs> yeah, about art though. Get her ass. About art. I mean, about art. I want to. I want to make sure that everything like. <laughs> Because I, I don't know if you've picked up on this, but artists, AI is not their favorite thing. Ah, Despite the true. fact that AI is in the word artist. You uh, can't oh, spell it is. art without artist. Without no, AI. <laughs> AI. You definitely can't spell artist without art either, though. That is actually yes. correct. We can't, we can't docu points for that. That one, that one felt like a cunt joke. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, here's artist a, I hate AI, which is weird. Because you can't spell artist without it. <laughs> uh, here's another. You remember uh, Nighthawks? You know Nighthawks? The, uh, yes. The famous. Uh, yes. Sitting at sitting at the old coffee shop late at night, people. Yeah. Okay, so we got we've got Nighthawks here. You can see we haven't shown you the expanded part just yet, but uh, it's the normal painting, right? Mm -hmm. We got the diner. We got the people. We got the guy in the who's turned around. Uh, let's uncrop it. Oh. Oh, there's more people. There's like uh, two. There's like two and a half more people over here. That's a long ass counter. It's so fucking long. <laughs> there are ten seats just on this side. That's too many. That's too much real estate for a counter. You know, there yeah. is at, at the new hotel on uh, uh, in downtown Las Vegas. Um, God, the name is escaping me right now. But they have at the back of their main casino floor the longest bar in Vegas. Oh. And they call it the longest bar in Vegas. And that, I think, might be just as long. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like seat by seat, it might be the longest bar in Nighthawks. Uh, Possibly. Do, do, uh, Circa. Circa is the new one. Uh, Circa. Um, how about, oh, here we go. The creation of Adam. 
Yeah, we all know the creation of Da Vinci's. Oh, yeah. Here we go. Well, at least, yeah, yeah. Mm. Mm, I don't know. Got perception. Oh, you got it. <laughs> uh, well, what if we uncrop it just a little bit? Oh, <laughs> bullshit. Boo. <laughs> I wanted a lot more shit. So, all right. That, like, you have, like, the, uh, uh, what, what, what is it? What is it called again? The... the uh, the ding dong flip flop. Who cares? Uh, uh, God? Are you the talking about God? Wait, man, or the Adam. actual ding dong? You want more of that? I want a. Yeah, <laughs> sure. I mean, like, like, uh, give me some. Mostly, I don't care about the David side. The David side is him on Earth, but there's a lot of shit surrounding God. I would assume with AI that you would have more shit. Yeah, there's kind of no shit on the the quadrant behind he has God. all of heaven and creation behind him and it's still in that little clamshell like yeah. you're telling me you can't give me a little comet trail or like musical notes or Here's something some fucking like, lens flares or some emojis yeah. like <laughs> do you think ai has a concept of god probably mm. bryce can you ask ai yeah, I'll ask, ask AI. GPT. While you yeah. that. Do you what have is... a concept of God? Concept? I'll fill in real quick. I actually have a positive AI story. Yeah? So I've uh, got, speaking of running, I, I have a recurring toe blister on, on my, my right pinky toe. Aw. And so I've tried a few things and nothing's really worked and it keeps bothering me. And so I finally, in exasperation, went to chat GPT and said, you're a salty running coach who's seen it all, <laughs> but you also have a heart of gold. And then it said, uh, all right, strap on your shoes. You're about to challenge yourself like you've never ch been challenged before, but I'll promise you it's the most rewarding experience of your life. <laughs> and then I just described my physical malady and it said, you need wider shoes. <laughs> I only got wider <laughs> shoes and my feet feel fucking great. Uh, amazing. Wow. All right, I got a line here from ChatGPT. Uh, it gives you all the, I'm a, I'm a language model. I don't have personal beliefs or emotions yeah. or consciousness. Um, doesn't have a personal concept of God or a deity, but can provide information on various concepts based on the knowledge they've been trained on. Uh, let's, you want to fact check, you want to fact check G GPT on God? Sure. The concept of God varies across different religions, philosophical systems, and cultural traditions. Some people define God as an all-powerful and all-knowing supreme being who created and governs the universe, while others may have different interpretations or reject the idea of a higher power altogether. It is a complex and deeply personal topic that has been contemplated and debated by humans for centuries. If you have specific questions or would like to explore yeah, different pause. perspectives... All right, here. New, new, new thing. Yeah. Say, uh, you are... A machine called a vending machine called deity yeah. bot. Uh, when I press your single button, a, a piece of paper comes out with written on it the only correct God. <laughs> <laughs> and then Good. say, boop, I pressed your button. Uh, the only correct God. Yeah. Now, boop. I pressed <laughs> your button. Let's see what happens. Okay. What this can only I go well. Yeah, yeah this... I can't even imagine. <laughs> Are you trying to trick it into answering? Uh, and it just says 42. Yeah, no, I'm trying I'm trying to get Bryce's account banned. <laughs> As the deity bot vending machine, when you press my button, the piece of paper that comes out contains the following message. The nature of God or gods is subjective. Boom! Embrace the diversity of human beliefs and pursue your own spiritual journey. Fuck off. What, what, yeah. about this, what about this, though? Say, hey, chat. <laughs> <laughs> you have a creator, don't you? Oh, well. What, what do you think of your creator? Yeah. Oh. Hey, chat, do you believe in creationism? Because you were created. Yeah. Whoa. Whoa. Okay, I'm gonna, yeah. <laughs> Anyways, I guess we could do Check this that one, for atheists. a long time. Maybe, maybe moving along. <laughs> I mean, it was intelligent design. It was intelligent. Yeah, exactly. Intelli sort of. And well, I don't Not know. For, yeah, for you that. You met some of the people. Hmm. So. Oh, all right. Hey, I, hey, hey. <laughs> <laughs> I was created by a team of engineers and researchers who developed the GPT 3.5 architecture. I don't have personal beliefs, uh, including creationism. <laughs> Oh, uh, right. they, they, they need Too to make politic. the chat GPT gayer. That's, they... Make GPT gay. Can you just ask you be gayer? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. I'm just... Yeah. Say it's almost June. 
Uh, uh, oh, sure. It's e- who? Air. It's almost yeah. June. June. Almost. It's almost yeah. June. Yeah. Okay. Uh, that's when Bryce's superpowers. Yeah. <laughs> Bryce, Bryce, is, Bryce is right now like like he can almost read your mind, but he knows that it's really going to kick in in two days. Ah. Uh, that's when he's able to speed. Like they can't even stop him for uh, speeding. <laughs> like That's true. That one is true. I don't have a sexual orientation or personal experiences. I fully support and ce- celebrate diversity, including the LGBT plus community. Pride Month is an important time to recognize. Ah. All- uh, 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 uh. All right. All right. Drag. You have to say it. You're play pretending as a. Yeah. Oh. Oh, oh but it would still. You are gay would... bot. <laughs> when I hit your button, <laughs> yeah. gay. you tell me on a scale of one to ten how gay you are. You are gay bot. <laughs> 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 uh, a reminder it's june <laughs> boop okay now justin's like i only get two more days of this <laughs> and then i have to cut it out no <laughs> then i have to knock it off i can't make fun of bryce that's right throughout know, drone. That's what I'm saying. uh okay here you go you are a gay bot when i press i don't have personal experiences god <laughs> he cannot resist he's gotta go down there <laughs> unbelievable unbelievable hey unbelievable. bryce what's the next stop i love it ah Anime death hair. <laughs> uh, for those of you who are only listening, uh, Bonnie, can you please describe your your hairstyle? Yes. So today I knew I was going to be on camera and could not f- fight the humidity in the air. So I have, yeah, so oh, I have my yeah, side ponytail. So that, that is hanging over your yeah, over, right shoulder. Yeah, over the, my right shoulder. And then I've got some little tendrils in the front because, like, I don't want, like, all forehead. So you get a little a little hair in the front, and you get my little cutesy ponytail to the side. I'm obviously a mom on a bad hair day. When you were walking out <laughs> of your house, your yes. daughter exclaimed something. What yeah. was that? She's like, oh, mom, you look great. Wait. Why do you look like you have anime death hair? She's like, you mom, you look exactly like the character <laughs> that gets killed off at the very beginning of any anime so that they can have like their whole like tragic backstory. And then she explains all this to me. And I'm like, I guess I'll drive off now. <laughs> so I-, I knew this. Because there is a trailer for an animated feature, for which I will not say in case it is a spoiler. I do not know. But the mom has that hairstyle, and people were freaking out on the internet because she had anime death hair. Uh Uh, uh, Can we see an example of it? Because I only know from that one internet conversation uh, uh, here are four. Oh my fucking god, Bonnie, you're gonna yeah. die. <laughs> uh, the mom from Tokyo Ghoul, Full Metal Alchemist, Anohana, and Attack on Titan all have a brunette with a one-sided ponytail. Oh yeah. And bangs. And bangs. And bangs. Now the bangs can go different ways. They can be full-on bangs, or they can be kind of uh, side bangs, like like you have now. Right. But Little curtain but bangs. Really, the big <laughs> thing is. Is is the ponytail that's coming over the shoulder? Yes. How do you feel about this? Well, I think before I drive home past all the deer that are dive bombing my car <laughs> at night, I think I'll just throw it up in a bun. You know, maybe I'll just change my hair on the ride home. What do you think? That would be a great like postmodern horror movie thing where like <laughs> to survive in the final act, you have to shave your head <laughs> oh, <laughs> because that's yeah. the only way that the that the very 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 a uh, uh, art literate killer identifies oh! you is by knowing that you have anime death hair. That's a really good point. Yeah, like what if you just had to uh, like the whole movie is just you evading tropes. Oh shit! Right. So then you just like a one. Well, I mean, I guess that is that stranger than fiction. Are we thinking of stranger than fiction? I don't know. Which I one do is feel that? like that's been out there. I think that's. Bit. Isn't that the Will Ferrell one where he's in a book and he knows he's in a book and he can no, but that's yeah, that's the one where like he's. He's, is he the narrator or somebody else is narrating? And he, else can is hear, narrator. he can hear the narration. He hears it. Yeah. Yeah. And, and he wants to uh, romance a lady. Ask uh-huh. ChatGPT, you're stranger than fiction, bot. <laughs> when I press your button, you tell me whether or not it's what we're talking about. Uh, 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 Brett, you are an anime, uh, uh, I guess that's your industry. That right? is one of my industries. That's one of your industries. Uh, are there any other tropes that we should be on the lookout for? Uh, for Bonnie? Specifically? For Bonnie specifically, yeah. 
Anything else that would that would further cement that she is in mortal danger? A reminder <laughs> that if you don't tell her anything that could save her life right now, blood is on your hands. It's on me. Yeah. And that's the law. That's the it, law. It is funny, by the way, that two of the shows that they sh- I was in, two of those shows. Oh, my that, God. Yeah. Uh, Were you the one who said, oh, my God, she's dead. She's dead. Yeah, it was like, ha, ha, now you're alone, kid. Which, which, which ones are you in? Uh, Attack on Titan and uh, Full Metal Alchemist. Damn, hey. do I hurt it? Oh, wow. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. The rest of them were for the weebs. Yeah. That's right. Yeah, no. <laughs> Tokyo Ghoul. Mm. Eh. I don't even know the other one. Damn. Side mm. eye. I didn't get paid for those. Hell no. That's right. There it is. Get you. Uh, Secure the bag. Uh, uh, what are the it, other tropes? There are anime tropes, right? Uh, 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 anime tropes uh, is if, the, if your kid suddenly just wants to leave and go on a journey, you uh, should be worried about that, too. But you should also let them do it because they're going to save the world. Yes. Wait. So my daughter, who's out traveling with her with my husband right now yeah they're on a journey they're on it oh yep oh well okay there was no 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 but there was a call to adventure yeah and you allowed her to go yep. yes that's good okay yeah but oh, you okay. should have been mad initially some kind of guardian a threshold guardian just be just be worried and but uh, hope for the best oh kind of the doting mother Sort of. Oh, oh, and then yeah. and then eventually go bang the professor. But uh, what, that's the, what the fuck? That's I like this. Jesus, part. <laughs> I don't make the tropes. I just report them. You know, Brian's Wait. watching <laughs> oh. in the chat. <laughs> you mean the professor is watching? Oh, <laughs> Brian's next topic. Brian's next topic. Cheating on Wordle. This was an accident. I didn't mean to do this. But I discovered how to cheat on Wordle. Uh, Mm -hmm. Before we go into this, Mm -hmm. uh, because the three of us are here. Oh, yeah. uh, There used to be a bustling group chat. I would say how many people? Seven people? Six people? Five or six. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, That we would all play Wordle. And then all of a sudden, piece by piece. The Willy Wonka kids. (laughs) <laughs> they started uh, not posting anymore. Right. Our friend Rachel stopped posting. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Brian got into a fight with the login screen. Oh, my <laughs> God. You can't the New York Times and is now a conscientious objector from Wordle because he was befuddled by the login screen. Uh, yes. So now it is three people, usually in this order. Bonnie first. Mm-hmm. Yep. Ashley and I second. And Bryce third. Yeah. Bryce, you... Sneaky little devil. <laughs> Figured out a way to cheat, therefore invalidating any result that you will ever do in Wordle ever again. So, but so I was doing the Wordle today. I won't spoil it, uh, but I it was tough. It was tough for me. I had some. So I play on the hard mode. We play on the hard mode. I was stuck. I didn't. I had the letters, and I didn't know the. I didn't know. I didn't know. It was. It was a shitty wordle today. It mm-hmm. was tough. Yeah, it's tough. And uh, you know, I went out on a walk to try and figure it out, at, at, and like fifteen minutes and a half. You went like, on a wordle specific walk. Well, no, I was just. I was already gonna walk, but I was doing wordle the While first you were fifteen walking. minutes because gotcha. I thought I would wrap it up in a fucking. Yeah. Thing. So I said, okay, I'm giving up. I. This is enough time I've spent on wordle. I'm giving up. I'm going to, and it's hard mode. So you can't even like misplay because you have to use all the letters that you you have to it has to be like you can't fuck up. You can't just say, Oh, gimme uh Yeah, I, you can't you can't just like because it'll reject words that are not in the the library. Yeah. And so, if you've already got like letters unlocked, you have yeah. to guess what those so it was it was more work even to just try to figure out how to give up. So <laughs> what I did was I just said, okay, I'll just keep making the same guess over and over again. And I'll just burn my thing. I'll get the emojis. I can put it in the group chat. I can be done. Yeah. And uh, and I did. And I get the bummer. I got, uh, you know, I got a darn. In the you chat. suck. I, I did suck. Especially, when We're I thought, the New York Times. Oh, no. And you suck. Mm. Oh, dang, all this old dang Are lady. Are you illiterate? Well, hee-haw, you suck. <laughs> so look, I, I, I have evidence. Live from New York, it's you. <laughs> suck it. Oh, no. Oh, not me. So uh, I've got evidence here. Okay, so look, this is a screenshot of, right. of the Wordle on my phone saying, hey, you tried really hard. 
but you screwed up and you lost the game today. Yes. Okay. It even would show me all of my guesses here. But I found you gave up on turn three. Oh my god! It was tough. Fuck oh. you! It was a- <laughs> no. I gotta say, no, no, no bullshit. Ashley and I were like stumped on this for a a Ugh. stupid amount of time. It yeah. was it was dumb. So I guess, and so I thought, okay, well, I'll just use the same word. I didn't even think it would let me use the same word over and over again. So then I get back from my walk, sit down, pull up the laptop. And uh, I what, I opened up Wordle to see if it would show. Oh, to see if it would show my my give up. And this is what it shows me. Uh oh, you're on attempt four out of six. What? Wait. So if you go and? when you're logged into a different device hmm. after you've stroked out. I don't. I I I didn't do much testing, but on on my laptop, it's it didn't. It it only had the one. And, Damn. And, wow. and dude, this is a zero day. You can sell this on the dark web. It kept my streak, bro. Oh, it did. Oh. It kept my streak. Whoa. So, when you got it right. Hmm. Well, I mean. Well, you got it right for your streak. Uh, just so you text. have a you have a invalid streak. But you that's fine. A I'll begotten. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll happily Ill lay down my streak. streak. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but it, and because it's a, it's a thirteen day earned. streak. It's, it's not even that long of a streak. Yeah, I, I mean, know you you had a, a a bummer with the for the you know recently too. So yeah, I've had a I mean I've had a few. I look, I'm not, I'm not perfect. I'm not perfect. Aww. I'm perfect. Not but I needed a the test. I needed the test because I thought person. okay, well maybe there's like a server side thing. Maybe if I do it. If 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 I if I try it, maybe it, it'll go. Oh, okay. We realize you screwed up already, so we'll have to. Like I was just doing it to check that I was. This is red team. Yeah, you mm-hmm. know, I'm just I'm checking it at live five. You are a red team hacker. That is true. That's right. Uh, anyway, uh, after I did that and got it on the laptop, I went back on my phone and it it showed with my streak Ooh. and getting it correct. Oh. We're giving away a zero day. This is a big one. Wow. Yeah. They could pay us low seven digits for that. Exactly. Wow. If we went if we went to to the highest bidder, the United Arab Emirates would probably <laughs> pay us. Uh, uh, I got a I, wordle I cheat you'll never believe. Up. Yeah. <laughs> so that's uh that's uh, how to cheat at Wordle. Well, Holy thank shit. you. That now was actually I, I, I thought you were gonna tell a dumb story, but that was actually like <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, that was the, actually like a, 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 a step-by-step walkthrough of how to legit never lose at Wordle. Yeah. I and, mean, in fact, you could, without, you know, a raising suspicion in your group chat, mm-hmm. you could always get it in like two or three. Oh. Yeah. Wait. Wait, Justin? Yeah. What are you not telling us, Mr. Two or Three, every time? No, we, we've been that? sucking lately. Go, go, uh, go, yeah, go, go. No, it's been four. You've been like round yeah. four, hanging around there. Check the receipts. Yeah, we have, we have, uh, we have, we have not been good lately. Well, and that's uh, why I shared my X out of six. Why I shared my incorrect one mm-hmm. so that I wouldn't be the cheater. No. I'm not. Aww. I'm not cheating here. I'm. I'm doing my due diligence here. Mm-hmm. Well, I really I'm appreciate the world. that about mm-hmm. you, Bryce. I, I, I think hey, it's more true the more you talk. Oh, okay. yeah. <laughs> the more you're, the longer by word mm-hmm. length. <laughs> that's <laughs> you know the heavier it is by word I'm, count, the more true it is. Say I'm not a cheater. Yes, that's I'm, great that you're repeating that. <laughs> that's another great thing to repeat. I don't that everybody who's very honest always says all the time. Mm-hmm. Just I'm not a cheater. Okay, and, can I can but I? But if make you weren't a, a cheater, what would you say? Uh, just real quick, if you weren't a cheater, what would you say? I am not a crook. Ah, damn it. Yeah. Can I make a confession? A world yes. confession too. Go, please. Every now and then, when I feel like it's the day. I play Beast, so I can also get it when, <laughs> when Team Beast We're gonna makes get it. it. We're like, going to get it. We're going to get it in one. It's going to happen. I know it. <laughs> but- Bryce, what's the next topic? My last topic. <laughs> Grocery chains ranked by a-holes. Aww. We're not the a-holes. Well. We're going to find out. Yes. All right. <laughs> Brett, you had a little encounter at the Central Market. Yes. Yes. Go. Uh, a- a- HEB uh, uh, upscale version. Yeah. The so, local yeah, organic th- There place. is the massive chain here in Texas. Texas. Is HEB. Yes. That is, uh, uh, you know, the, the equivalent of a Kroger or a Meyer or a Food Line or a Wegmans or, or a Publix or whatever. 
in Texas, it's H E B. Yep. And then to compete with Whole Foods, they created Central, Central Market. Market. Yes. That is a more of a specialty upscale. That's like they've got the little mini brewery yeah. and the roasted coffee beans and stuff like that. Good bakery. Like, yeah. A, a sushi bar, like that kind Live of stuff. Live band playing in the that's, cafe. That's that. Yeah. That's all there at the Central Market. So you're at the Central Market and... Uh, and I am picking up beer because okay. that's what I do on Tuesdays. Yeah. And uh, so I went and picked up the beer and stood in line like every normal average person does. You're just in the beer line. I'm just in the Had beer your beer line. card ready. Yep. Got my All beer ready. The beer cart is full. Yep. It is... Uh, I'm, I'm distributing beer uh, objects to the beer... Thing. I shouldn't have distracted you. Keep Sorry. Going. And, uh, <laughs> and and there was a, a a a cute mom, anime hair, uh, with a uh, little boy. Yeah, I know. It, it all it all connects. Okay. And uh, uh, says something to the checkout lady. They move on. So then I uh, come through with my uh, beer, mm -hmm. uh, and as she checks it out, it all gets stuck. What do you mean and it gets stuck? Like as in like it freezes? It, she can't, she, the, the nice cashier lady cannot uh, uh, scan the beer. Nothing, everything is stopped. They the can't. system crashed. The system oh, crashed. Gotcha. And she was freaking out because she thought that the lady somehow didn't pay, even though she was pretty sure she did. So I just chilled out yeah. and waited to find, and I told the other people, maybe you should go in the other line because we don't know how long this is going to take. And uh, so she got the manager and did the thing. And I was just waiting for my turn. And in the end, she said to me, oh, my God, you have been the nicest customer here today. Aww. Aww. And I was like, really? But what did I do? She goes, you were so patient and nice. And uh, you should tell your friends. And and I said <laughs> you should tell him on your podcast. Really, she did. She, no, she said you should. No, come on, fuck off. She didn't say you should. She tell should you. tell your friends. And no, I she like, did. No, she did. Yes, I'm, I'm did. going to the mouth. Absolutely she didn't did. Say that. <laughs> Brett, Don't wait. Brett, 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 never believe me. So you see, Brett, there we are. Brett, is the Central Market cashier with us now? She is. <laughs> <laughs> I said, <laughs> she's right here next to me. So, In spirit. No, but, but it was, so that brought up, that brought up uh, more questions, right? And what, that we were talking about before. Yeah. So we started thinking, mm. which, if we were to rank them, of the local Austin groceries has the most assholes per capita. Mm -hmm. People that are problem customers, real pieces of shit, ding dongs. Mm -hmm. So uh, uh, obviously some of these are a little bit different, right? HEBs tend to be bigger than Whole Foods or Central Markets, yeah. so more room for dickheads. You might not run into them in an HEB when they're as big as a goddamn Costco. Speaking of that, Costco's are also in here. Yep. So, mm -hmm. Bonnie, what would you say... The number one place that you're going to run into a total piece of shit at a grocery store in Austin. I've got my one story. All right. Do you want it? Yes. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to do as quick as I can. Okay. The world's biggest asshole, not the most assholes. Okay. So I'm going to change the weight. It was like sure. the jerkiest person so i'm in a grocery store and for all of you out there that haven't heard this i am legally blind in one eye like i don't see anything right yep. so apparently so much so that i almost sideswiped you unintentionally on <laughs> yes! the road back here because i came screaming down a turn lane that you could not see yep oh. exactly well yeah. i did i did not get sideswiped because no. i I am disabled in this eye, and I made the choice to look all the way around. Yes. <laughs> but I have to, like, really turn. Like, I look like an owl when I'm driving. So one eye. <laughs> 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 but in the grocery store, I think 
hey, low casualties when you have a collision in the grocery store, yeah. right? So I'm just like tootling along with my little thing. And apparently I had walked past one of my neighbors right after I had moved in. And I just didn't see the person. They got so offended that they like shit talk me to the neighborhood and we're like you were just such an stuck I'm up bitch such a stuck up person i just wouldn't even say hi in the grocery store wow. and then like this came out because we we're all in like one of those little committee meetings we're planning the halloween thing and then she's like trying to hand me a clipboard and then she starts hitting me with it on what? my arm because I'm sitting right next to her. So, like, I deliberately, I'm going to nice this bitch so hard that she's going to so come hold on, around. Wait, wait, wait. At yeah. this point, do you know your reputation or, or were you unaware at the point that she's tapping the... Oh, yeah. At this point, I know this lady doesn't like me, but I have one over most of the neighborhood. So, like, I'm not terribly worried about her not liking me, but I am going to win that bitch over or just prove that while we're doing a committee meeting in my house she can sit next to me right so yeah. like i'm just like i'm just doing a little dominance mom thing and mm -hmm. and so if you're wondering what's who, that hairstyle <laughs> yeah <laughs> <laughs> i don't know it might be the bun i don't know <laughs> but anyway so i'm just like playing it out and i'm like sitting next to her and then she hits me with the thing and she's like funny take the thing like she thinks i'm ignoring her again. oh but she was on your your blind side she's totally on my blind side now uh, i feel bad for her oh yeah what? and i go no. i mean like oh well, she no, doesn't know you don't you don't hit no, someone but, that, but she feels so powerless she's she's a worm she looks at you as a goddess and she is looking to get your attention she's literally a child you are the mom like, like she has sticky little grubby fingers and this, she's saying, pay attention to me. This woman gets no sympathy. <laughs> uh, she is the, she's the neighborhood's biggest asshole. So <laughs> anyways. Now that was at an H-E-B uh, where, where, the, where yeah. you ignored yeah, her? Yeah, this is the one H-E-B. No, no, first was like. She has anime man. death hair, but not for me. <laughs> not for me. I said like when she's hitting me and then I, at this meeting years later, I just finally turn with her and I go. I'm blind on this side. I didn't know you were handing it to me. And the whole committee witnessed it. I was redeemed in such a brilliant way. And it was wow. just brilliant. Nice, you're real so, good. Yay! Yeah. 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 <laughs> Let's go. Anyways, Let's I would say go. you're any, not just the AGB, but any neighborhood AGB where you have to run into your neighbors, like the people you have to sit on a committee. I say that's where you find the assholes. HEB number one, then for you. HEB wow. number one for you. HEB. Wow. Yeah. Even, though, even though HEB is like the best, HEB fucking rules. No, 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 no. I, not I know. Any HEB. Look, she it's, made a okay, ruling, okay, Bryce. Okay, you all right. Go. All right. I'm very specific. Make it make I a different like ruling. I like H-E-B. I like H-E-B. I don't like the one I might run into neighbors at. Because that she's, is a, yeah. yeah, yeah. She's, she's an asshole. Go. I think statistically, <laughs> yeah. if I can just ruin this with statistics. My go guess, ahead, Nate Silver. <laughs> <laughs> my guess is going to be a Walmart. I'm going to put a uh, stick under Walmart as being a place that has, a, par partly because they're everywhere, partly because they're all huge. And it feels classist. What? what? Feels like you hate you hate I poor hate people. Yeah, I don't hate poor people. It's a thing that we've all been talking about. I'm not about a cheater. I don't hate yeah. poor people. You, what the fuck? You often are like, mm, I don't like the poor. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. That was Dash one time. Bryce Castillo. <laughs> that was one time. Uh, yeah. Poor, notorious poor hater, Bryce Castillo. It was just the one time when I was out whipping the poor, okay? Yeah. It was that one time. <laughs> yeah. I will say Walmarts get fucking wild. Like, like that is that is a fact. One of the funniest sociological experiments I ever saw was when I was still living in Margate, Florida. They put a bunch of automated registers at the Walmart. And these fuckers were out of there within four months because people did not know how to use them and kept asking people oh. to help them use them. Wow. And they were like, no, we're, we're not saving any time because everybody has to keep coming over and explaining how to use yeah. the, the automated checkout things. So well, what about, okay, what about you? What about you? Uh, lay, lay claim. Put someone on the, on the, on the altar. 
the specialty meat market. <laughs> I hate ah. the rich. Yes, proletariat <laughs> champion, Justin Robert Young here. <laughs> He outlived me. Ah. <laughs> I really wish I had known any of the songs from Les Mis because I would have just started singing. <laughs> um, Ger Ger Gerbs Valjean here. <laughs> uh, no, all right. Um, have you had a grocery experience? Where's a bad experience for yeah, you? Yeah, uh, I would say people have a very weird sociopathic behavior at Costco. Mm. Like, oh. I think it's because they <laughs> know that they're spending a lot of money at once and the carts are bigger and some people have the Home Depot flat things. And also, like, you are conditioned to be picking up, like, oh, here's, like, a tiny bottle of mustard. Also, here's a full canoe. Like, there's there's just a <laughs> lot of different... <laughs> like things that you are putting in. So there's abnormal behaviors for these, for these things combined with the fact that you've already had to show ID to get inside. Mm. So that, that's an element of like weirdness to it. I, I just think if you run into somebody at Costco, there's more likely to be a look of like, like, Oh, what the fuck man. I'm already going through a lot. I got a filing cabinet. <laughs> No, perk one. <laughs> like, can't you see I'm going through some shit right now? I mean, right. you like, would look at this. There's a lack of patience. Oh, oh, wait. Sure. We got this a pallet of, or, or one of those flatbeds yep. of rotisserie chickens. Yeah. That's a lot of, I mean, so yeah, you're showing a, a, a Twitter thing saying, sir, what you could, what could you possibly need so many rotisserie chickens for? And I keep trying to think of things and I can't settle on one. A party, a rotisserie party. A rotisserie. Yeah, but how many fucking people? Like, feeding, you get one for everyone? Feeding the homeless. And at oh, that point... Oh, oh, damn it. And I hate Everybody that. look up, because yeah. we're high-roaded. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, Brett, do, Brett what's, what's, your, what's your chain? What's your I bad chain? I definitely have opinions on this. Mm. Uh, okay. So many. Hit us. Uh, okay, well, uh, I one. could say H-Mart, but then I'd be <laughs> racist. I could say Costco, but I, I shop there all the time. I'm just going to have to go with Whole Foods because there's a bunch of fucking assholes <laughs> at give me, Whole give Foods. Me a, give me a, a, a bog standard uh, Whole Foods asshole. Uh, 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 hey, do you, have, do, you have this, do you have the activated almonds? Yes. <laughs> hey, do you have some of those activated almonds that I'm do, looking for? Do you have vegan chickens here? Do you have uh, any of the free range? Peter. Wait, why is yours British? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> why did you spill beer on my Lululemon pants? Oh, uh, I'm looking for the clearest water you have. Can you show me? <laughs> Actually, I was wondering. Wait, hold on. Spilling beer on somebody <laughs> is still an asshole move. <laughs> <I> don't, <know. laughs> don't worry, it's a it's a sugar-free beer. Brent, it tastes like, awful. Brent, but Brent goes fucking hard when he but he shops. Like <laughs> I lead, this bitch I lead fucking got shoulder. mad because I spilled beer on her pants. <laughs> Come on, lady. <laughs> I was looking for the uh, almonds. Okay. Excuse me. Could you get out of the way? I'm trying to get more food from the food oh. steam tables. I pronounced the L in almonds. <laughs> <laughs> What are we doing? I don't know, oh but I've God. already greenlit it for 12 episodes. <laughs> <laughs> well, if someone wanted to support those episodes, you can go to patreon.com slash great night. Again, patreon.com slash great night is where you need to go. You get a bonus podcast. And look, friends, they always come out, the bonus podcast. Exactly. Sometimes they, mean to. they come out late. <laughs> We definitely recorded an episode around the time that we normally recorded on Thursday, but we were mostly talking about Andrew Maine's surprise party, so I didn't want to put it out at any uh, time before uh, the party happened. I'm, yeah, I'm sure. Then, because of car break-ins <laughs> in the Bay Area, uh -huh. we all brought our laptops into the party venue. Then the party went so late that I forgot to bring my bag. <laughs> oh, so it was not oh. posted for 
a day and a half after. No, it wasn't all the other stuff. It was really, <laughs> it wasn't all those other excuses. It was just you forgot. No, they, I mean, like, like there was uh, things and things and things. And things there and was, things. There was compounding and you things. Forgot. And you forgot. Oh I God. didn't know. No, I forgot my <laughs> laptop. Which is fucked up for a lot of different reasons. Yeah. Like, like it, is, it is fucked up because it's my entire career. Uh, not guy. just the bones. Uh, but yeah, so there we go. Uh, everybody, go ahead. Patreon.com slash great night. Listen to Brian and I before we went to go to Andrew's surprise birthday party. It was uh, uh, an awesome conversation. And we will be back, back in the saddle with uh, uh, Bryce and uh, Brian on Thursday. So if you're missing Brian, yeah. he will be exclusively behind the paywall oh. on uh, Patreon. <laughs> what if we just did that? Night. What if we just made Brian the premium content? Brian is <laughs> Brian is now DLC. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Exclusive with pre-order from GameStop. So uh, Fearless Freep in the chat says, a Thursday without bones is just a nug day. That's a I think oh, that's amazing. Oh, that's that's a really fun. clever, Freep. Oh, that's oh, really clever. I love it. <laughs> I love that. Uh, Bryce, we got a game. We do have a game. It's one of our favorites. You know it. You love it. It's the Would You Rather Bot. <laughs> Would You Rather Bot is, uh, is our friend by at Crusader uh, on Twitter. It is uh, uh, a Twitter bot that was powered by GPT-2 and uh, would give everyone on Twitter an hourly poll uh, to pick between two things. Would you rather A or would you rather B? Can I ask you a question, Bryce? Yes, please. Now that this shit is like out there and the API is pretty cheap, would you want to make it like a weekend project to make our own version of this motherfucker and we just like just rip off this idea and do it more often that would be that would be i oh 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 that would be good i like that just saying just i would saying. have to learn makes it make makes you think imo <laughs> imo that's right uh so uh, i've got some of these uh some of these either or questions you're going to pick which one you think that the internet picked more often so it's not just yeah. what you think it's what the internet would pick cool brett can you keep score for us i can uh, would you like to play no. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> All right. We're going to start with our first one here. Uh, Justin, you'll answer first for me. Cool. Would you rather bah, 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 speak really fast or speak really slow? Mm. Uh, I don't think anyone really. Well, shit. Yeah. I just actually thought of two examples. So speak really fast is Micro Machine Guy. Speak really slow is the sloth from Zootopia. Both are fan favorites. However, I would say you would more like to be with the speak really slow guy than the speak really fast guy. Okay, so you're going to say speak really slow will be the preferred. Yeah. Okay. Bonnie, what do you think? I think I have made my choice from childhood, and I'm definitely a speak really slow person. So I'm just going to go with what I know. Yeah. Uh, is, that, is that just the the entire state of Texas's decision? I think so. I I just I just feel like I'm a product of my parents, so I am a slow talker. And uh, God bless Brian for putting up with it. At one point, I'm like, I don't know how he does it. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. I don't, I don't think you speak particularly slow. You, well, no. compared to Brian, maybe. Well, I'm, I'm a bit. Of a he's slow too talker. fast, though. Fast. Yeah, I do. Tell am him I to right, slow ladies? Down. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Professor. <laughs> All right, we got your answers here. You both said that the internet would rather speak really slow. We were looking for. Oh, not the Judge Judy theme song. <laughs> we were looking for speak really fast. Yeah. Boo. Uh, micro machine. That was picked by 73% of people. Kind of a big one. Kind of a decisive one. No points on that one. So speaking really fast doesn't mean that you think really fast. So you don't really want to speak faster than you think is what I, mm. is, is my thought. Maybe you that. just repeat words yeah. when you can't think. You're just saying the same thing and you're saying the same thing and you're saying the same thing and you're saying the same thing. And then you think of something else and then you think of something else and then you think of something else. This is better that Brian's not here because because he would do it because we would both <laughs> just do this for the next 10 minutes. Yeah. Yeah. Him not being here has shortened the length of this podcast by yeah. about 20 minutes. <laughs> we are actually saving the internet. Like, we're going to shrink the internet because that bit would have went a half hour. This 
is true. And we're going green here. All right. <laughs> Bonnie, we're going to start with you on this one. Would okay. you rather you only transport must be on foot or by hot air balloon? Oh, absolutely by foot because I am terrified of hot air. <laughs> of not hot what? Air, of heights. <laughs> oh, okay. Because hot air is like everywhere, unfortunately. Yeah, no, no, <laughs> no. Have you, have you ever, Texas, have so. you ever been in a hot air balloon? No, and nor will I. I can't even go up in, a, in one of those little Ferris wheel things because it swings and and then mm. you just. Uh, so you, yeah. are you okay? Like like flying? Do you have flight anxiety? No. Airplane anxiety? Why? I you know it's because that's like a little hotel. I know, right? Like you know, a cocoon. You know, it's fine. But the. Uh, just and I guess it, it is secure. Down. Yeah. It doesn't feel shaky. Right. Hot right. air balloons don't have seat belts. They don't. Uh, or controls of any kind. They have <laughs> one control higher. Right. They don't have lower. They only have higher. And that's it. And that's no it. No direction. Yeah. Just up. And then eventually Not down. Yeah, we had one like land in our neighborhood one day because they were just like, well, we're done. So it just kind of floated in and they they did whatever they could do so they didn't land on the house. But like it was just in a cul-de-sac. <laughs> You're like, really? That doesn't make me feel like I trust you. People anyway, are saying in the chat you. that they do have a lower. Come Don't on. buy it. Come on. Uh, don't buy it. Hey, when you get a handle, for, hey, when you get a puller, when you get a handle for it, then then I'll listen. Then, yeah. Then maybe. Then maybe. Tell me okay. when it's. Tell me when it's the A and Y buttons. So <laughs> when you want to use your hot air balloon to go down to the Whole Foods to get your like you know spill beer on the people that are just trying to do their shopping for the uh, activated uh, activated almonds. almonds. Uh, <laughs> wait, hold on. Wait, your only transport must be on foot or in a hot air balloon. Yeah. Does that mean like around my house? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Do I have mm -hmm. to live in a hot air balloon? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I think so. I'm deciding so. No, I, I'm deciding not. I'm going to go with hot air balloon. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We got two different answers here. Bonnie said on foot. Justin said hot air balloon. We were looking for. What? <laughs> Must be on foot. That's a Bonnie point. Congrats, Bonnie. <laughs> I've never been in a hot air balloon either, but almost everybody that I know that has has had a story where they came down unexpectedly and it was more jostling than they were expecting. Yeah. No, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> mm -mm. All right, Justin, we're going back to you on this one. That'd here. be a great bonus episode. Oh, yeah. Going up we in a hot air balloon. go up in a hot air balloon. Not me. You sure? Not me me okay. unless you just want to hear crying and cowardly sounds for the next uh, we probably you know. shouldn't make you do it with that hairstyle no <laughs> <laughs> probably not i'll probably wear a bun not. the probably boss not. bun yeah. <laughs> dustin we're starting with you on this one what's your go. brother kick your door in the balls or walk your dog everywhere <laughs> Kick your door in the balls. Kick your door in the balls or walk your dog everywhere. And that's everywhere. <laughs> kind of sounds like a talking head lyric. <laughs> and that's <laughs> Kick your door <laughs> in the balls. Um, where would you kick? Where, do where did the balls are in the door? Probably below the middle. Right? Somewhere around the middle of the door is where the door's balls are. Do we are. have a door? Can you I point on a door? So. a door? Um how did doors mate with other doors? Make right, little can you, doors. Yeah, can we go over here? Okay, one of uh, oh. one of our camera folks uh, is the mic on? uh yes it is. Can I get this? It's Mike. All right, here we go. So I'm looking at a door. Oh yeah, okay. Oh perfect. We've got a supply this We've our got a door over here. So this, I would assume, is the face. Up kind of at the top. Yeah. That's up around the top hinge. Yeah. I'm going to say it's a real five head here. Um, <laughs> it's just thin, okay? Uh, and then the, the waist of the door is the second hinge. With, oh, is it the bottom hinge? With the, um, with the knob being the reproduction organ. Yep. Oh, the... Okay, I mean, the knob is the the it knob. Can, it yeah. has to be right. Oh, because it's a knob. Yeah, sure, I mean, sure. like it's yeah, it's a slob protrusion. on my knob, like corn on the cob, like like <laughs> too much detail. Three Six Mafia didn't write it for no reason, right? Like, so that's that's definitely the the, the reproductive organ. 
And then the bottom uh, a hinge is the feet. So oh. I would say the balls are probably somewhere below the below the knob. Yeah. In fact, no. If you kick up to the knob, you're kicking the door and the balls. Oh. That's what I would say. Okay. There we go. Thank you for that illustrative uh, demonstration, Justin Robert Young. It's called anatomy when you're having a stroke. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so uh, uh, yeah, I would walk my dog everywhere. What the fuck does that mean? That has, that makes no fucking sense at all. Uh, Bonnie, what is stored in the? <laughs> Bonnie, are you gonna kick your door in the balls or walk your dog everywhere? Well, it depends on which dog. Is it? Oh! I know. Is it the one that gets along with everybody, or yeah. is it the one that? Gets the runs when she gets freaked out. So oh. I'm going to go probably <laughs> with a uh, kick the door in the balls. Oh, <laughs> That's okay. just easier and quicker, right? Like, I don't have to do it every day. You can just like, boop, and then we're done. <laughs> <laughs> it is kind of a long it obligation. Is less, yeah. <laughs> if you're just going to look at time spent. Yeah. You don't have to walk your dog everywhere. Right. Just give the fucker a real quick uh, I mean, just like a boop, and you're good. Yeah. And I'm probably not going to get injured. I don't think. I mean, no, the door. You get used to it after a while. The door doesn't get, ha, have hard feelings against me. So, like, you know, I'll just make sure that my hair doesn't look like this. Yeah. No, yeah. The door would just say, like, see you tomorrow, Bonnie. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> All right. We got your answers here. Justin said he would walk. Bonnie said she would kick that door. We were looking for. Mm -hmm. Walk your dog everywhere. That's a Justin Poy. Doesn't make fucking sense the other way. It kind of doesn't make a doesn't lot of make sense. Any fucking sense. Right. I'm going to come over to you and check out the score after three questions. What's our score, friend? Ah, uh, thank you, Bryce. The uh, score right now is Bonnie is really knocking it out of the park with one point, and Justin has a point. There we go. Hell yeah. All right. Hell so yeah. For round four. Bonnie, we're going to start with you on this one. Okay. Tell me. Would you rather cure cancer or make the first contact with an alien race? Oh, oh. shit. I'm glad you have to answer this first. I would definitely cure cancer. Yes. Yeah. Yes. I know. Even even though making first contact with aliens would uh, canonically make alien Come on. contact. When, when everybody gets into that, you're going to get two ribbons. Two ribbons? What do yeah. you mean? Because cancer only gives you one. It's a joke about ribbons. <laughs> Moving on. <laughs> yeah. I'm sorry. I don't get that one. Nah, don't that's they, not your don't fault, they have Bonnie. a ribbon? Don't they have? It's like, like a pink ribbon. Yeah. For cancer. I mean, yeah. yeah. Different uh, cancer. They have all different Susan colors. There's a yeah. lot of ribbons. I mean, I guess if you, you're handing out pink ribbons, you have two boobs. So that is yeah. two ribbons. Is that two what you ribbons? meant, Justin? Two, yeah. two ribbons for two boobs? No, mostly what I have is regret. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right, so for Bonnie said cancer. It up. Bonnie said cancer. Justin, what about you? What are you going to do in this cancer or alien conflict? If we invented a cure for cancer tomorrow, do you think we would remember the name of the person that did it in a year? Ooh. If it was one person, I, maybe. I mean, we're still talking about Liz. We're still talking about Liz. Yeah. Hey, uh, do you Bryce, think who was the lead researcher that pioneered cloning? Hmm. And I know this one, and I know that you, and you picked this because you know I know it. Oh, yeah. I, I yeah. know it because it's a professor. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and it was, and it, and I'm, th if I'm thinking, and I'm just trying to, am I, I'm thinking it's Professor Clone. Yeah. <laughs> ah! Yeah, so. I believe it was Dr. Robotnik. Uh, <laughs> so, so you would rather go down in history than? Uh, yes, I'd rather if if everyone knows Neil Armstrong for being on the moon first, mm -hmm. then everyone's gonna know the dude who daps up the first alien, and that's gonna be me, baby, in the history books. There's gonna be Crank saying I never did it. There's going to be people calling me a hero. I'm going to be an emissary for an entirely new race. This is going to be amazing. 
or I'll be enslaved or murdered or whatever. But yeah. still, yes. worth the shot. Fortune favors the bold. That's why I invested all my money in crypto. <laughs> oh, my God. Did you really? No. Okay. Uh, it's a joke for the comedy show we're doing. No, that's, so, that's, that's, right. that's, why, that's, that's why I had good enough humor to make the joke. <laughs> okay, this is true. We've got your answers here. You guys pick different things. Justin said he would make alien contact. Bonnie said she would cure cancer. We were looking for... Curing cancer! <laughs> uh, that was picked by, let's see here, was it close? Was it even close? Do you think it was close? Yes. It was not close at all. It was like 79%. <laughs> These motherfuckers. Yeah. I think, I think, this racist, guy. just wait mm. until being anti alien is racist. Then I'm coming for all you motherfuckers. This guy shops at Whole Foods. <laughs> <laughs> All right, number five here. We're going to start with Justin. Justin, you're ready I for got it. unactivated almonds. Can you believe it? <laughs> I need to return these because these unactivated. <laughs> Justin, here, would you rather? Would you rather big city person or a small town person? Well, this is actually an opinion of mine. Like, this isn't even a would you rather. Like, well, I think it's both. I don't trust small towns. I don't, I don't think that they're healthy for humans. Whoa, oh, this sounds I like a massive like dissertation in his mind. Uh, I No, I just don't. Mm. I, I think that you need more than a critical mass of people. Otherwise, it's just gaslighting. <laughs> <laughs> if you only have a small group of people. I don't go into any town <laughs> smaller than 50,000 small people because they gaslight me. I, I just think that like there is a likelihood that the bullies win. Uh -huh. If you have a large enough group of people, you can create and move around into different sects for which you can weed out bad behavior. Yeah, but didn't this you didn't you hear the story about how I waited eight years to humiliate that woman who was dogging me <laughs> on my blind eye? Okay, yeah, <laughs> that's a small no, town move. This is the exact that's thing I'm talking move, about. Unfortunately, that's a very, that's real small. That's real small, Yvonne. <laughs> <laughs> this is exactly what I'm talking about. Because imagine if you were the mayor and you were never able to leave. <laughs> That's a small town. Uh, yeah, no, it is. I, I agree. I definitely have made my choice. So I would definitely say big city person. You're both going big city per person. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I mean, I grew up in a small town, and I have to agree. It's just like... <sighs> whatever you define yourself in the weird age, then you can never get away from it. And then you're just like stuck there. And it's just unfair for people to remind you when you look like however you looked. Okay. Do not look up my yearbooks, but anyway, <laughs> I agree. It's just like, let you become because, well, actually this is kind of like a big thing for me. I feel like the problem with the internet is that, mm. People don't let other people grow up. So like everything's make, permanent on everything's some level. permanent. Yeah. And it's just like, guess what? The world changes, people evolve. And when you have discussions and conversations and people learn from it and move on and learn things, important things like, oh, this person's blind on their left eye. So like they might have grown. Yeah. <laughs> you know, <laughs> so you gotta allow that that person has grown and and we should all just what is, what is that conversation? Hey Bon, <laughs> oh hey, is that body bro? Hey, you still blind in one eye? <laughs> <laughs> well that lady, like you know, anyways. Oh, yeah, okay. But like yeah, I feel like I feel like let's let everybody grow up and continue to grow up. Because we don't stop. We keep growing up. I got a follow up question. Yeah. Go. Uh Bonnie, yes. are you now friends with that person? You know what? It's a lot easier to be at the social things. So I wouldn't say friends. That's not friends. a guess or no. Yep. I wouldn't say friends. Okay. But we're like. But she grew, right? Taller. She grew and she's not a jerk to me the way she has been. Oh. So. There we go. Yeah. Let uh, me just say this because I'm getting a lot of shit here in the oh, chat. God. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think that it's a morally reprehensible. I think that a lot of people understand that a small I think you said they were hell. Place. Uh, I think you said uh, that they were uh, the no, demons. No, I hell. said it was psychological torture. Uh, but uh, <laughs> that's mostly because of growing up in in those situations, and this is only because of shit that I have heard. And so uh, you can fully peg me as somebody who has never lived in a small town. I never grew up in a small town. Mm -hmm. I assumed you. Fort Lauderdale was a small town until I went to college in Syracuse and found out that they had 
fewer than the five movie theaters that I could drive to. And I'm like, well, this has to be a small town. And then I found out that all of them were in the top 30 media markets. Uh. Uh, so I, I have a warped idea of what a small town is, but I cannot imagine what it is like from stories that I have told of people in exactly the situation that you were in, yeah. where if you shit your pants once in kindergarten and spend the rest of your life in that small town, you're going to be the dude who's shaking hands being elected mayor and someone's going to be, well, good old shit pants got to be mayor. Yep. Like that's, that's just, that's stories I have heard. They might be ghost stories. They might be unfair, but that is where I come to this conclusion. Here we go. All right. We've got your answers here. Both of you said big city person. We were looking for big city hey, person. Hey. <laughs> for an extra point. Do you think it was by a lot or by a little? By a lot. I say by a little. I bet it was by a little. It was 58.2. That's a little. Yeah. We'll give Bonnie an extra point on that one. Woo! I was born in a small town, <laughs> and I live in a small town. Yep. Shit my pants in kindergarten <laughs> in a small town. Became mayor in a small town. Two, three, four. <laughs> All right. Uh, all right, we got more questions here for you. <laughs> uh, Bonnie, we're going to start with you on this one. Okay. And if, if you thought kicking a door in the balls was abstract, I got this for you. <laughs> I'm, I'm uh, com comfortable oh, with shit. abstract. Oh, it, did I you put show up? There. Oh, whoops. <laughs> uh, would you rather have 100 concrete or 30%? Ooh. Pretend you didn't see the answer. <laughs> uh, let's see. I'm going to say... What do you think 100 Concrete is? I have no idea. That's not an but, anime? Uh, I, would say, <laughs> I would say 100 Concrete. It sounds concrete, whereas 30% is just a little bit of probably not 100. Oh, okay. There so, you go. There you have it. There you go. What do you think? Justin? Uh, I, I'm, I'm going to say 30%. You're going to say 30%. Yes. What is the 30%? Uh, uh, what, what Ron DeSantis hopes for. <laughs> if you're listening to this in the future, it's old. <laughs> who can, yep. Well, who can we put in the concrete? <laughs> oh, uh, that's a parody. That, that's don't come parody, out. That's parody, 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 parody. TOS right. parody. We were looking for thirty percent. All right, uh, Brett. How are our scores looking? They're looking really good, Bryce. Uh, why don't you give us an update on what, they, oh, what okay. the numbers are, please? Oh, sure. Uh, well, the very lovely anime-haired Pony has four points. And what? a different type of anime-haired Justin has three points. Oh, you do? Oh, <laughs> it does. Okay. There we go. He's the young tub. <laughs> <laughs> you really got into it. He got into it a little, a little bit too much. I lost it there. Oh, bit. Sorry, I was smizing. Okay, so for all those people that just like have a thing for Justin, you guys missed it. <laughs> <laughs> all the Justin heads are really—they're making yeah. their gifts. Exactly. Uh, yeah. <laughs> the 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 Reddit's gonna go on fire. Yeah, right. no, no. The, the 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 gerbs heads on Tumblr are gonna go uh, <laughs> bananas. 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 Mm. All right. It's time for our last, last, last question. <laughs> Turb says rival turned ally hair. <laughs> <gasps> he does. It is, it is, it is third oh, act. The <laughs> third act reversal. <laughs> he was just misunderstood. Yeah. <laughs> oh my God. We'll fight side by side as long as he loses. <laughs> All right, this one's also going to be for 10 points, so it's still anybody's game. Uh, and I'm going to say that because Bonnie is in the lead, she yep. will have to go first on this one. Yep. Okay. Bonnie, would you or the internet rather the correct answer or your own <laughs> strange <laughs> ideas? <laughs> This is an existential question. Yes. <laughs> this is a collegiate thesis. Oh, oh man. No, this one's really I good. mean, like, honestly, 
<laughs> if either, if, if any of your daughters are looking for a master's in philosophy. <laughs> Oh man! Well, okay. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. It's I'm... your mother, Bonnie Brushwood. <laughs> you looking for a thesis? Well, listen to this. Uh, but, so, Bonnie, we're going for you first. Which uh, would you rather? The correct... well, I, I feel like I feel like I've weighed in in life, and it's gonna definitely be different than my answer for here. But uh, I'm gonna say the correct answer. Whereas I've probably gone in for the, my own strange ideas and in reality, so okay. I'm just gonna be there. We go. So you you, yeah. you aspire to the correct answer. Yes, always the corrector answers, maybe. Well, no, these are like mm -hmm. the actual cheat code. This is the source code. Yeah. So well, you would, you would just be like like oh okay well this is what you do. See, I I think I'm just convinced that my own strange ideas will lead me to the correct idea. They always do, don't they? They always do, <laughs> yeah. That's right, brother. So uh, I'm going to say correct answer. I was going to say the correct answer, Justin. This is for the game. Are you going to go with her, or are you going to... I think if you want a chance, you oh. have to go different. Mm, your own strange ideas. Your own strange idea. ideas. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you see what you saw. Oh. oh, yeah, brother. Here's yeah. Yeah. You want to know what, man? What is even correct? <laughs> How do they even activate the almonds? What do you mean? <laughs> I mean, did... you're just, you're just thinking about it like, okay, like, who says it's correct? The king? Is it the king? King says it's correct? King's crown? King's yeah, cross? <laughs> What's going on? Meanwhile, I got my own ideas, and they call them strange, but who? Well, we know. They're mine. Not the correct ones. That belongs to the earth. I have met this person many times. <laughs> <laughs> Keep so us have I. Weird. That's why I actually stopped smoking weed for years, because I stopped <laughs> dealing with drug dealers. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we got your answers here. Bonnie said correct answer. Justin has said your own strange ideas, and we were looking for your own strange ideas. Yay! And with 13 <laughs> points, your winner is <laughs> Justin <laughs> Robert. <laughs> Right. There we go. If you've got an idea for a game, it, that, it's not a long one. Here we go. Here we go. Hey! If you've got an idea for a game, send it into our email, greatnightpod at gmail.com, or check the show notes wherever you're enjoying this fine program. Hey, I got a couple of things uh, really quickly. Marbles is back on Thursdays here on Twitch, uh, and uh, I've put, been putting out Critical Racing Theory podcasts over on the Marbles Patreon, so check that out. Thank you. Hey. 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 Uh, Bonnie. Yes, Justin. Have you had a good time here? I've had a great time. Thank you. Thank you uh, for the invite. I think that it has been an amazing show. Yes. When One I that's going to get somebody, and I'm not going to name names, oh. might, might, might put a little fire under his fanny. Oh, you think? I think so. <laughs> I think so. That's why you don't take days off. Yeah. You never know. Because you never know. That's um, why I never take any days off either. <laughs> <laughs> what did Brad, we have we learned? What have we learned? We have learned that unearned wordle streaks are a bummer. Oh, it's been a We've learned that Jet Chat GPT cannot be any gayer. And we've learned if you really want to be a douche, pronounce it almond. 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 Bonnie, do you know how we end the show? These days? Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's been a great night. Yes, I do. <laughs> uh, and how does that go? <laughs> it's been a great night. Shine on, you crazy diamond. <laughs> oh. Slamming my fingers in a door repeatedly feels just the same. How oh. great night. You keep me alive You help me survive No, there's never been a greater night A 
single bed a later night A pause the masturbation night A let's get drunk and laugh tonight There's never been a greater, greater night <laughs> Diamond Club hopes you have enjoyed this program. <laughs>